Hello, my name's Carl, I'm a technician at Air Arms and today we're going to be showing you how to check for leaks on an NPR. All right. First things first, make sure it's actually got air inside it <laughs> because you can't check for leaks without air. If you use a spanner supplied, and gently turn it off and lift it out. Now, if we remove the O-ring there, if we take some nice light oil, um, any type of light oil will do, um, sewing machine oil or um, egg and oil, something like that. What we do is we place the oil in here and we fill that up so that the oil covers the gauge and this We'll then check for any bubbles that will form around the gauge. This checks the seal under the gauge and the actual gauge itself. Take a nice piece of cloth and give that a wipe down. We can now replace that O-ring. While we've got it out, we can place a nice coating around that area there to check that seal and the area at the back also to check that seal. And again, we're just looking for tiny bubbles that will suddenly emerge if there is a leak. Again, nothing. Part of the cylinder is this valve here. This is a valve that actually released some air when we were taking it out. Again, a little bit of the light oil. And just on that tip there, where the valve is in the bottom. And again, you're just looking for tiny bubbles to any form. Again, nothing. Pretty much the same. Just taking it off. Locating the threads. And just gently turning. Nothing. There we go. Got that nice little piece of air. That's as the valve is engaged into position. And then we can give it a nice little twist with the spanner just to make sure that it's actually home completely. And now we can test the rest of the gun for leaks. First thing we should do is check where that valve body meets up. If we go around there, around that end. Again, making sure there's no little bubbles forming. Where the cylinder extension meets, just here. So you'll be able to actually see whether any air is actually leaking out through where the adjuster is and where the seal is between these two parts here. Finally, we can take some oil and we can place it down in here. Right where the bolt probe goes into the barrel. Again, no bubbles, so we're all okay. Give it a nice wipe down. It's another good reason for using a light oil rather than anything else at least it won't corrode. If you do use anything like um, soapy water, wipe it down thoroughly and work it and oil afterwards. For further information on our products and more useful tips, please visit us at our website 
air-arms.co.uk. Thank you.